Hey, I'm Aaron Fish, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make corn tortillas from scratch. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need here is masa harina. This is really important. You can't just use cornmeal, you gotta get masa harina. So you can get this at um, pretty much any grocery store. Look in your ethnic aisle. So we've got two cups of this into the bowl, about half a teaspoon of salt, and then uh, super non-traditional, I like to add about two tablespoons of canola oil. This is gonna help keep your tortillas nice and moist. Got two cups of uh, water here, um, warm tap water. Uh, you probably only need about a cup and a half, but this is one of those things where you sometimes need a cup and a half, sometimes you need a cup and three quarters. So we're gonna start off by pouring a cup and a half of our water in here, and then we're just gonna work it with our hands. Can't be afraid to get dirty in this one. Now you could use a spatula if you wanted to at this point, but all this stuff's gonna come right off, so it doesn't matter. So you are looking for a texture of a little bit softer than Play-Doh. Now, uh, if you want, you can go ahead and try to <laughs> make yourself a little Play-Doh, uh, mini maybe Aaron Fish, I don't know. Uh, see if your texture is right. So you can see I'm getting my handprint is in there, but it's in its holding, but it's still a little crumbly. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it. I would work at it, um, you know, a tablespoon or two at a time, uh, adding water just to see, you know, how much you need. So you don't want it too wet, you don't want it too dry. Now I've got a damp paper towel. We're just gonna put this right over here. Let it rest. We're gonna let this rest for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and let the dough hydrate. Okay, so while our dough's resting, I'm going to get some plastic working for when we press the tortillas to keep them from sticking to our pressing vessel. So I've got a Ziploc bag here. Um, these work really great. If you're in a bind, you can use parchment paper, um, you can use uh, plastic wrap, um, or even tin foil if you really needed to. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting it down each side. We're not gonna cut it along the bottom, we're just gonna cut each side. And what this is gonna create is a nice big flap open like this. All right, so this is ready to go. We're about ready to start rolling our balls and cooking some tortillas. You pinch off a piece and roll it in your hands just like this. I'm just gonna roll it into a ball, okay? What I like to do is I like to work through this, get them all rolled into balls. And then that way, when it's time to cook tortillas, you can just press and go, press and go. You don't want to roll them to order. You want to do this kind of quick. Um, you don't want the dough to dry out. Now you can make these pretty much any size you want. Um, I mean, you, you obviously can go too big or you can go too small. Um, but just find a size that works for you. Uh, you can always test it out by rolling one out and then pressing it to see um, you know, how big it is and if it's you know, too much dough, too little dough and whatnot. This dough is really forgiving though, so what's nice is that, you know, if you press one out, it turns out that it's not the right size, then you can just scoop it off, scrape it off the plastic, roll it back into a ball, and do it again. So we got all our tortillas rolled, and we're just gonna take our damp towel and place it over again. We wanna keep these covered as much as possible. It helps to keep them from drying out. All right, our balls are all rolled. They're resting with our paper towel on here. I've got a cast iron on my stove, heating over medium heat. We're gonna get that nice and hot. We're gonna press some tortillas. We're gonna cook them. Let's get it done. Alrighty, so this is how you press a tortilla. Now, if you have a tortilla press, um, which is kind of a flappy object with a wrench over the top, you can totally use that. Now everybody has one. Um, I don't have one anymore. I used to a long time ago and I kind of found out about this method and even now I just love to use this one because I'm not making copious amounts of tortillas. So um, what you're gonna do is kind of dip your hand in some water, grab one of these balls, and you're gonna push it into the bowl. This is gonna help your tortilla from cracking a little bit. Um, this is kind of an important part of it. So yeah, we already rolled them, but we're just kind of forming it, pushing it into the ball. And then roll it back into another one ball. We're kind of basically rehydrating it just a little bit. It's already been resting, so this is good. Put it right in the center here. I'm gonna flip this over, and I like to use one of these. And what's nice about the, this is like a, you know, equal amount of distance, so it's kind of nice to be able to press. If you only have the, the nine inch ones, that's totally fine, you can use that too. Um, I highly recommend something that you can see through. You could also use a plate or um, a saute pan if you needed to. But you can kind of just lean on it and push it, and you almost like wiggle it to, to get it to, to press out to the size that you want. That looks like a nice sized tortilla right there. Look at that. All right, we're gonna pull this off real carefully and cook it on our cast iron. 
I've got my tortilla. I'm gonna take it out of here very carefully. And we're gonna plop it down. Now we're not gonna touch that for about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and flip it. And flip it again. And at this point, you're gonna go ahead and kind of push down on it a little bit. You can see it's starting to puff up right here. That's how we know we did this right. All right, I've got these two towels over here. Both of them are damp. I've got them soaked with water and wrung them out. And we're gonna put this right over here and cover it. All right, as we continue to cook tortillas, I'll keep stacking them under this towel and it'll keep steaming and continue to cook them and finish them and make them nice and soft and delicious. All right, so our tortillas are all done. I mean, just take a look at these guys. Look at this, beautiful. I'm gonna make a taco now because why wouldn't I? I've got fresh tortillas. So I've got some pulled pork uh, that I crisped up in a pan. You want that recipe? Click on the link up above. Put that right on top here. Oh yeah. Some chopped onions, some fresh cilantro. And one of the best things about, you know, me being me or you being you is you can do whatever you want. And let's not be traditional. Let's put some sriracha on this. Probably my favorite condiment in the world. All right, beautiful looking taco. And we're just gonna dive in. Mm. The best thing about these tortillas, you can really do anything with them. You can make taquitos, enchiladas, um, more tacos later. You can cool them down, put them in a Ziploc bag, reheat them in a skillet, and they'll be good to go. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe, and learn how to make more delicious food.